Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Melzahar game played by the one, the only, Hotshot GG. <laughs> yeah, he normally doesn't play Melzahar, so I thought it would be fun. Well, actually, this one was recommended by one of my viewers. He sent me a message on YouTube, so didn't leave it in the comments. Like I always say, you should just send me a message, man. I don't get that many messages, and I will read it. Um, yeah, I won't read most of the comments, because, well, there are just are too many of them. I mean, I have a million videos, and even if there's like one comment on each video, it takes me forever to go through all of them, those, so I don't do that. I do see some comments, obviously, but yeah, this one was sent to me, uh, as in, uh, he told me this was a very good game, and I should cast this one, and I really appreciate that, because that is how I get the, the best games. I mean, people send me awesome replays, but from the high ELO players, yeah, I just have to guess, and if I, uh, if I go do uh, some... Uh, uh, yeah, some random stream, there's like a 50-50 chance they will lose. But, yeah, well, that's just the way it is normally. And, um, wow, he actually got the damage done, but then got greedy and now has to recall. But, yeah, the minions already spawned, so um, it's not good to go back now. And... Yeah, he he got an excellent uh, an excellent catch there in the uh, well in that Tristana wasn't in that bush. I don't know why she wasn't in that bush. I mean, maybe no, no, I have no reason. <laughs> I want to say maybe she was scared, but it would be more scary to be outside of the bush than inside of it. And um, yeah, well, I don't know. I I have no clue what she was doing there. Anyway, we're going into the laning phase now, and it seems that they, uh, the team is still trying to get the blue. But yeah, Master Yi is just uh, in the mid lane, chilling and uh, doing his thing. Yeah, Master Yi, of course, uh, an excellent mid laner. And he is going up against uh, Twisted Fate, which is uh, a very good choice for... Uh, for the blue team, or the green team, I guess. Yeah, no um, colorblind mode on this one. But uh, yeah, for the the purple or green team, whatever you want, it's the top right team. Uh, because the Twisted Fate, of course, can interrupt that, um, that heal. And that is the most important thing you need against uh, Master Yi. AP Master Yi, that is. Uh, because if you can prevent him from healing up right in the middle of the lane, yeah, that will happen. Uh, so he already gets killed straight off, and yeah, if he doesn't get that heal off, he is pretty weak, because you can just, well, nuke him down. Of course he can nuke you down as well, but he only has one spell, and as twi uh, Twisted Fate, you should have, uh, yeah, well, at least two. So you have your Q and your uh, W, I believe that is, yeah, it is. And um, yeah, of course Twisted Fate isn't really, like... A super high carry potential kind of AP, but Melzahar is so. Um, Melzahar does it does have that uh, super carry potential because he has four skills that actually I believe all have an AP ratio in them, and that of course is uh, is excellent. So yeah, uh, going up here with Melzahar against uh, Lee Sin obviously, and. Um, yeah, Lee Sin should have a little bit of trouble farming, because every time he comes into farm, he's going to get, well, damaged. And as you can see, he can't really reach the Melzahar. Wow, it's um, he's really low here, and I think this is enough. Is it? Yes, it is. See? And that is the problem with being uh, Lee Sin here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, every time he tries to come in... <coughs> comes anywhere near Melzahar, he's going to get damaged by at least one spell and probably more than one. And in this case it was the Ignite plus the Malefic Visions, I believe those are. And yeah, he may have even had uh, one of the Voidlings out. But yeah, that is of course 
Uh, well, it's it's a strong attack. Let's let's just call it that. It is a very strong attack. So, um, yeah. Well, the um, the the minion wave here completely pushing into the turret, and um, Lucian will be allowed to farm from that. But in the meantime, Hotshot is going back to buy some items because he used up all of his health potions. And he's going for a double uh, Dorn's ring and some warts and some health potions and a mana potion. Well, the, just an excellent choice of uh, of items, I would say. It's a lot of consumables. Yes, that's true, and you don't get money back on those, so you um, you basically use them as a one shot. But they are well worth it. Two warts, so he can ward the. Uh, uh, the, the river for six minutes, or he can ward the top brush and the river, depending on what he wants to do, of course. So, um, is he level six? Yes, he is. Okay, so uh, Lucin is probably level six as well, because he wasn't really pushed out of the lane that much, and he got to farm a whole lot. So going to ward up, yeah, that spot, the spot where the jungler comes out of the jungle. And that is, of course, the best spot to ward. So yeah, the... Uh, Lee Sin, of course, yeah, now that uh, the Melzahar is back in lane, is going to have some trouble here, because, well... It is going to be hard to uh, to go up against that, and he, uh, he he can use that shield to prevent a lot of the damage. But still, it is a lot of damage that is still coming his way, and he still has to well make sure that um, he doesn't get uh, altered here. There's still no level in that W. That is surprising. Well, that means he just wants to farm. Because the Q and the E are excellent firing skills. The W is for killing players or big monsters. But uh, yeah, well, he is um, going to lose some epic life here. Ultimate goes off. Oh, it's good enough. Wow, did not expect that. Yeah, that was uh, Ignite plus the ultimate, and that was apparently good enough to finish that kill. It, it was his only chance. I think if um, if Lee Sin just ran out, he would not have done that. But yeah, he got a free kill here out of this, because Lee Sin just kept chasing and chasing and chasing, and lost a lot of health to those minions. And yeah, with the Ignite, the ultimate, and the Malefic Visions on him, at the same time, plus the minions, of course, wow. attacking him, uh, he did just enough damage. Yeah. That was uh, pretty good. So the first level in W now, at level 8, which is uh, pretty late, I would say. Uh, yeah, that's it's it's your choice. I mean, I you can my, do whatever you want. And, um, yeah, as I said, yeah, this I, W is mostly done game. for... Uh, killing players, and he was definitely going for a high minion count here. So grabbing some of the minions here with that Malefic Visions, and that means that he doesn't even need to be in range of any of that, because uh, the Malefic Visions and the Voidling take out everything. It's kind of nice how the, uh, the Voidling isn't uh, controllable with your alt key, but... Um, yeah, it's uh, it's still a little bit controllable because you can actually send it towards one target with that Malefic Visions. Because they will go after the target with the Malefic Visions. And wow, lots of damage going off on that uh, uh, Lee Sin. And yeah, here comes the Twisted Fate. He is going to cut off the retreat, but it's not good enough. Very nicely played by Lee Sin, immediately turning around and uh, going into that river. He was going to go back to his turret and not dive straight into the river, because if Twisted Fate teleports in, in the river, you can't see him. In the, uh, in the lane, of course, you can see him come in. Oh, that almost was enough, but yep, almost is not good enough in this game. Well, in any game. 
anywhere, really. Yeah, well, out of uh, skills to cast here, and he's going to wait for a few seconds. Yeah, there we go. Getting that uh, a blasting wand, uh, which increases his AP, of course, by quite a bit. 119 AP now, and um, yeah, he does have those uh, those sorcerer shoes, which means that he has some magic penetration as well. Probably has magic penetration in his runes and masteries as well. So. Um, I'm going to guess that uh, he takes away about 29 of the magic resist and being at 65 yeah that's a pretty big deal it's of course a bigger deal if you were at 30 like uh, normal champions well normal champions uh, the most of the squishies like Melzar but um, Lee Sin not a squishy gets a lot of magic resist straight off and yeah he's a real bruiser so he can really do a lot with this, uh, with his AP, uh, HP, sorry, and um, yeah, well, we'll have to see how that works out. So um, yeah, it is uh, a lot of damage on the turret here, but that's about it. He can't really reach in to uh, to grab that uh, that Lee Sin. Couldn't even get malefic visions on him. Because he was standing too far back. And uh, yeah, well, another minion wave picked up here. Oh, it didn't jump to uh, to that back what part the of the fuck? minions. That's a shame. Kicks me out of my but yeah, getting about 50% of the health there. And he himself lost about one third. So yeah, the... the the damage done is uh, still more than the damage taken and there are constant health potions going on uh, on this Lee Sin because well he needs to heal up like every three minions and that is of course going to cost him a whole lot of uh, of gold he has the magic resist going now so he's 90 magic resist and that is just an insane amount for this early in the game. And that is also why he couldn't really finish off the, the Lee Sin in that early game. Yeah, he, uh, I, I thought I saw that, but I was like, that can't be right. But yeah, the uh, uh, Hotshot actually altered him earlier and immediately after that it that got kicked but there's a suppress on that uh, on that ultimate so you you shouldn't be able to do that at all yeah. but hey that's the way it goes sometimes uh, apparently pressing the button at the same time or something like that and uh, yeah I, I thought I, I just didn't see that correctly I just misinterpreted it or something random like that but no, apparently not. So it's kind of funny that uh, Delicious Milk GG is, uh, of course, a uh, name based on Hotshot GG. But yeah, is he? He? I think he is in the range of that uh, circle thing, oh. the Aren't Null Void, time, or whatever it's called. But yeah, he lost a lot of health there, and uh, well, Hotshot lost a lot of health as well. So he will have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, that shield is just so good. It absorbs a lot of uh, of that damage. Otherwise, he would have been dead. Well, he would have been dead a long time ago. I thought there were Malefic Visions, but no, there were not. And... Um, yeah, Lee Sin is probably going home here, but he might also just be, yeah, in that bush. But yeah, it is of course risky to stand in that bush for this simple reason. Oh man, is it... Oh, it's actually still up, but he missed his Q! What the hell, he has DFG? 
And a double kill for Master Yi. Oh my god. That was that was bad. Not just because they uh they got double killed, but most importantly because they just lost a very easy fight. Uh well they they lost the kill in that very easy fight. And that of course yeah, that's unacceptable, dude. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, uh we're going back in and um You can use Death Fire Grasp while doing Q okay, uh, while doing the Alpha Strike. That is uh that's unique. That's something that's probably not supposed to be that way. Oh, is that the game where you were like And wow, Master Yi is doing a great job of just getting the kills, man. Wow, a triple kill for him. He is going to be so hard to deal with. 6 and 2 now. And he is going to get a crap ton of minions. He has over 100. I saw that. I didn't see how far over 100. Of course, we are at 140 here. So, um, yeah. Meltar is also a great farmer. Because of those malefic visions. And uh, once you level those up, you basically get free waves with... Uh, well, everywhere you go, every time you just cast it on something, as long as you have a Voidling out, you get a free wave. And otherwise you need to have the Q, or one Q over the front minions and one Q over the back minions or something like that. Uh-oh, Master Yi! But yeah, Master Yi... <laughs> oh man, Master Yi oh getting uh, altered. God, but it didn't it matter. He just got completely owned by that. That that was yeah, that was brutal. That was brutal. Anyway, top third is going to go down here because with Hotshot GG being being in middle lane, um, yeah, all that needed to be done there was just attack. Wow, Jenna just gets completely uh, nuked down, but well. She is still alive, so she can still go on and um, protect her oracles. So they lose the bottom turret there because, um, yeah, nobody was there. So yeah, it gets a lot of... Um, Gets a lot of gold from that, but apparently not enough for his next item. Uh, I don't know what his next item is going to be. But apparently it's about a thousand gold. Uh oh. They're not going to catch him, are they? Oh come on! Blue card, really? Oh, he does pick up the kill. Yeah, the Master Yi. Oh, man. Master Yi able to heal the entire time. And then he grabs a blue card. Oh, man. A yellow card. Or, well, a gold card, I guess. A gold card would have been so good there. But, yeah, completely failing on that. <laughs> and that never happens to good Twisted Fate players. Like maybe in 1% of all case, uh, uh, cases. But of course never in a situation like this. Where well, it's actually essential that you get him. Yeah, well. Hecarim uh, with his useless ultimate. And well, being a useless champion in general. Uh, not getting anything done 1 versus 1. Uh, of course, he's a great team fight champion. He's not completely useless. He's um, he's not old Evelyn or something like that. Now he can actually be very good, um, but yeah, <laughs> in these kind of uh, circumstances where someone is running away from him, there's really nothing he can do. In team fights, of course, yeah, he can do a whole lot because he does quite a quite a lot of damage. He has uh, some CC, which is excellent. 
because people can actually follow up on that. But with just his own skills, yeah. <laughs> Not so much. Oh man, Master Yi is getting really scary. Especially because it takes so, so long to kill him. So if you focus him and there's someone else there, then... Yeah, what happened to uh, to Melzar earlier will happen to you as well. And, um, yeah, you just get owned, basically. So it seems that, uh, that Jana was still in that bush there. But yeah, by now, yeah, she will be in the middle lane with the rest of her team. Come on! Oh! Yeah, he didn't have anything. If he had his flash up, that would have been a sure kill. But yeah, that was still 20 seconds off. And did he save the ward? No, I don't think so. But anyway, the red team grabs the kill. Yeah. So red team grabs dragon. And there you go. Yeah. Holy he just can't do the damage. And that is kind of the problem with Hecarim. He just doesn't do enough damage. Yeah, Hotshot used to play uh, Melzar quite a bit, so he uh, he used to be quite good with him. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen him play uh, play this in uh, in quite a while. And man, finally they grabbed that uh, that Master Yi, but that once again took so much. Uh, yeah, the silence of course is OP against Master Yi because that's what it does. The silence interrupts that heal, and yeah, the heal is really the only overpowered thing on AP Master Yi. It is what makes him so good. That incredible defense, that incredible uh, heal, is just yeah, it's ins it's insane. But yeah, I know that uh, when I first discovered uh, Hotshot GG, which is a long, long time ago, of course, he uh, used to play a lot of. Um, of Melzahar, and that's also how I learned to play AP carries because of his playstyle. Only it uh, didn't work for me, not because I couldn't pull it off, because I can pull this off. It's just that I didn't like the playstyle. It was too risky for me. But he, of course, knows exactly what his champions do, and um, doesn't really have to worry about anything. Uh, because he knows what his champion does and for me that was not the case did they get Baron? okay no I don't know hang on did I miss a Baron there? I might have. Uh. Anyway, it seems that uh, no Baron is still up. Okay. Or up again. Could also be. But no, I think I uh, I just missed the Baron picture there. Man, double kill for... Triple kill there. Well, it's not a triple kill for one guy, but... For the team. 3 for 0 and even nobody get damaged that is uh, quite surprising so yeah when they finally group up here they uh, they get a lot of things done and they do grab the kill on Master Yi so that's good I really need to watch some more Hackerim games man I know only half of what he does and uh, yeah, since he was so crappy when he first came out, or everyone said he was crappy, maybe they didn't even change him that much, or at all. Uh, wow, this uh, Baron is owning them pretty hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, Twisted Fate almost dying, and there he dies. Man, Hecarim is going to die as well. Wow, this is so bad. Three kills there for Scarter. Oh my god! That was just plain stupid! 
they got owned by Baron, and because they're, well, they removed the wards, that's why they, uh, the enemy team came in and, uh, and actually, wow, Holy he stole shit. it. Carry again. Carry again, dude. On the Man. Oh my god, he just, he, he completely stole that. I did not expect that to to work at all. Oh, yeah, it was support fiddlesticks. That's why he couldn't uh, tank the, dr the Baron. But yeah, the triple kill for the Baron is still not really worth it. It is, of course, a great thing to have. Wow. It is it is worth it gold-wise, but it's so risky. I mean, going for Baron it, this early in the game with these kind of champions that get nuked down instantly. So without a, a tanky champion with, uh, with you, yeah, they, you should never do that. That is just insane. Come on, get that one golem, man. Someone counter jungled. No, you can just leave it there. Nobody's going to grab that anyway, except for the uh, Lee Sin. Okay, so uh, Skarna not going in. I was kind of hoping for that because that would have been awesome. But man, that Baron steal! I did not expect that to work. He was waiting for it, obviously. But <laughs> oh man, the, even the jungler was there. I think. Oh no, 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 no. Lee Sin wasn't a jungler. That's why it worked. Who was the jungler on that team? Skarner, of course. Yeah, but Skarner was there, right? I mean, Skarner got a triple kill, and I don't think he died, so he should have been there. But hey, that's the way it is sometimes. Sometimes people make stupid plays. On the other side, uh, on the other hand, this uh, wasn't a very good play on a hot shot. He um, he pulled that off because uh, they made a mistake, but still he had to uh, use his uh, his skill at the exact right time. So someone was going back to uh, to 